Your past is a gift. Okay, so as promised, in this video, we're going to talk about self-forgiveness. Okay, because it's one of the hardest things for us to do for ourselves. Now, this one came up again for me just a few days ago. And I was talking to a mum, okay, and she was talking to me about her situation. And, you know, she's been in a relationship where her she has an abusive partner, okay? Now, I'm not going to go in depth because, okay, it doesn't matter how it's abusive, if it's physical abuse or if it's a, you know, whatever it is, okay? Because we want to stay focused on the self forgiveness. I think for many of us, when we are in that type of relationship and we've been in it a long time and we come out of it the other end, okay? We end the relationship, it's finished, we've walked away from it. For many years, we carry this resentment towards that person, okay? And after this, you know, I had this talk to this mum and it was the first time this little light bulb went off in my head because for a long time I thought it was because you couldn't forgive the actions of the other person that you couldn't move forward and there was always this resentment whenever you talk about this person you talk about this partner that you had that was abusive or, or did mean things to you or whatever it was okay that that's why the relationship broke up in the end you know it you separated but I always thought that was the problem. You could not forgive what they did to you, or what they said to you, how they made you feel. But then, talking to this mum the other day, I had another look at it from a different angle. And I realized, yes, you might be angry that they treated you that way and how dare they. They didn't have the right to do that. They didn't have the right to say those things to you. They didn't have a right to hit you. They didn't have a right to do anything that you weren't happy with, anything against your will. Yes, you might be angry about that. But the biggest anger is with yourself. Because you allowed that person to do all those things, to say all those things. You stayed in that relationship for how many years putting up with all that? Because you decided that you weren't good enough, that you weren't worthy of something better than that. So the forgiveness, the anger is really, you can't forgive yourself. You can't forgive yourself you allowed yourself to go through that for so many years and today I really want you to sit with that with that thought that maybe today is time for you to forgive yourself maybe today it's time to look at why you allowed that treatment in the first place. Why did you let them treat you like that or talk to you like that or do those things? Why did you allow it in the first place? Because honestly, you know, I think to myself, once you can get to that place of understanding the why, you know, because before you stepped into that relationship or relationships, I don't know how many you've been through that have been the same, you know, because we tend to get out of one abusive relationship to get into another one and then another one and we can't understand why. We can't seem to find someone that's nice to us, that treats us with a bit of dignity, with a bit of respect, that treats us like a human being, with some kindness, with some kind words, with a gentle nature. Why do we never attract that? And the truth is, before you even stepped into this very first relationship, let alone the last one, somewhere in your childhood from what you've been through, you've decided that you're unworthy. You don't deserve to be treated with dignity, with respect, with kindness, with loving words. 
with gentleness. You don't deserve that. You've made that decision somewhere in your childhood from something that's happened to you over and over and over again. We're talking about repeated patterns with an adult, not just a one-off and that's it. Sometimes it can be, you know, like with my piano teacher when she said I couldn't be a concert pianist, that was a one-off. And boy, did that carry ripples <laughs> across the lake for a long, long time. You know, skim the rock and get blip, 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 blip. Took a long time for that pebble to settle and stop creating those ripples. Sometimes it can be a one-off that devastates you. But usually it's a repetitive pattern of an adult. A repetitive word, action, something that keeps saying to you over and over or doing to you over and over that sets in your mind that you're not good enough to have someone in your life that's going to be kind to you. To have someone in your life that's going to respect you and your wishes. To have someone in your life that's going to treat you like a human being with love, with dignity. You made that decision way before you started that first relationship. And so today, it's time. It's time for you to forgive yourself that you ever made that decision about yourself. Forgive it. Because you are worthy of love. You always have been. You are worthy of respect. You always have been. You are worthy of dignity, of being treated with kindness. You always have been. Always. You just need to know that you are. All right, my darlings? I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And send me a comment below. Have you come to that place yet that you can forgive yourself for making those decisions about yourself? You have always deserved. You have always been worthy. Always. <laughs>